what's going on and welcome back to the freaking channel all right so it's been a while i think it's been more than a week than my last video upload regarding the one uz and it's for good reason okay so remember how i pulled the heads and stuff like that that i wanted to find a guy that has that did just japanese heads you know because aluminum and i'm meticulous about that i guess for some freaking reason and so i didn't find a guy that i like so i just settled and said all right well there's a guy down the street that resurfaces heads so i went with him and upon further investigation i had a buddy tell me hey go to this guy he does strictly japanese motors and he happened to resurface heads. so i said okay so i went and got the heads from the original guy and brought them back down so they're getting all done up doctored up so in the mean time i got bored and maybe some of you will understand how awesome this is i've always wanted one of these yes that is a fuel transfer pump built into a 50 cal ammo can that i fabbed up myself now these are just some old fuel pumps they're self-priming they're bosch 140s and <clears throat> i got them from my old job and they just been laying around so pretty much the only thing that this cost me is you know 12 13 bucks for the ammo can about 20 30 bucks for the fittings and yeah so pretty much you know 40 50 bucks and i just didn't want to go with you know harbor freight or you know anything like that or anything from home depot or lowe's or whatever so <clears throat> and i like making things myself if you can't tell <laughs> So, I'll show you how this works. So I got my send line with a QD, a quick disconnect. I like to put these rubber caps on there, but sometimes they get a little, get a little stubborn, okay? And that's the suction line way back there. And it is hardwired with a fuse. And these are not gonna be permanent. I have P-clamps for them right here that I want to load. So that's all gonna get redone, right? So I'll show you how all this works. So you get your, your, your feed line. Get your feed line there. Get your sender. All right. Now these are dual 140s, 140 liter per hour. So I'm pretty sure that it's going to move some volume it's only a quarter inch line so i did that i don't know it was cheap and i don't think uh, going any bigger would uh really do anything good we do too much all right so there's your switch not bad huh Yeah, not bad. It's quiet and nice. Great. Good thing I got some more QDs. So yeah, that's that ain't too bad, huh? Not too bad. Let's run all that water out of there. And yes, it's just water. Don't freak out. It's just water right now. We are gonna run some fuel through it once I get this seal cleaned up. All right, we are gonna change that out real quick before I do fuel. And I wanna see how fast, cause I gotta use this fuel up. It's been in there for a little bit. I'm gonna see how fast it takes for me to put five gallons into my tank, All right? So we'll see, and I'll time it. All right, let's change out this quick disconnect real quick.
right, so we got the quick disconnect all swapped out. Got my fuel line, got my tank. This is full. It's about up to here. So it's about four or three quarters, four and two thirds. And I got my stopwatch here. I don't know if you can see that. Yep. So we'll see what we can do. Oh no, it's a little, a little fuller than I thought. All right, so we'll get our line. Hopefully, I did not test this, so hopefully that QD does not leak. Feels pretty good. And sorry if you didn't know, QD is quick disconnect. No leaks, it's just water. Cool. All right, well, it's five gallons, and those things are only, you know, 140 liter per hour, so they're not too fast. The reason why I want wanted to build one, I've always wanted one, is I'm sure everybody at some point in their life has had to hold these things up about shoulder height, especially you know, if you got anything, anything lifted, and you got your your flex, uh, your flex funnel sitting here, and you're trying not to spill, and it's glugging everywhere. And as you can see, this was black, and this was actually because it had fuel gasoline on here, and it just ate the rubber. And I haven't swapped it out yet, so I'm sure someone somewhere in the point of their life can relate but i had it laying around i got bored you know waiting on on parts it's a story of my life here and at work <laughs> so you know and it's it kind of fun and it looks pretty cool i think so anyways i don't know if you guys can hear that but man it's quiet That's going. Two and a half minutes. Ah, come on. There you go. So anyway, we're gonna speed this process up and go. Anyways, I can't see anything. I doubt you can either. So, oh, freaking bug flew in my dang eye. Well, let's speed things up once again. See if we can get it out. See what we're at here. 
Not too bad. It's probably about a gallon a minute, gallon and 15 seconds, somewhere around in there. I don't know if it's hitting the bottom yet. I need to put a copper fitting on the other, on the end or a brass fitting so I can hear it. Oh yeah, it's still going. getting a little warm. Tell you that much. You know what? I don't think that back one's working. It's still going. Alright, we're just going to shut it down here. I hear it lightening up. Yep. That's it, it's glugging. Eight forty six for about five gallons. Shut that off there. Yep. So that's it. Eight forty six, five gallons. What the hell is that? Is that fuel? No. Nah. What in the world? No, oh, ATF. <clears throat> So that's it that's what I've been working on since I'll give you guys a little sneak peek so since this guy this is the block me and my brother tore apart the bottom or the, uh, the oil pan has a two-piece oil pan took that off which you guys will see in another video but I don't know if you guys will see it I might not put it in the video I don't know but the Gen 1 uh, 1UZs, the UCF 10s, have the thick rods. Yeah, you can't see them. But they have the thick rods. They're supposedly uh, an SC400. It has a, uh, a Gen 1 1UZ, and he's pushing over 800 horse on a factory block, <clears throat> factory bottom end. So. And it's kind of rumored that you can push 600, 650 uh, through these blocks. They're bulletproof. They have cross bolt mains. These main caps cross bolt, bolted, which resembles kind of like the old Ford uh, 427s, which a lot of the high you know, performance motors, the Cobra Jets, stuff like that. So it pays to hold out and get what you want and not just go out and get something the, you know the first thing that uh, it pops up so like i said there's a little sneak peek and you guys will see the oil pan tear down the clean and everything like that in a different video but i just wanted to come on here and give you guys something to watch and uh let you know what's going on all right thanks for watching see you later